Skyhawks finally get possession back. Now looking for an angle for a shot. Garrity, and she just missed over the bar. Now Havens wins back possession. She rolls this one for Giardina. She's onside. Giardina's shot. Got a piece of it, and it rolls in. Alex Giardina opens the scoring here with just about 15 minutes to go in the first half. Garrity plays McNeil perfectly along the far side. Now McNeil looking into the middle for Henry. Goes out wide to Nerger. Nerger's cross. Thompson perfectly onside, and she fires it in. The Skyhawks double the lead. No one's going to have to do it again. Steps up. This ball comes off the wrong side of her head. Right to Farina. Her shot from distance, and that one is off the top of the net. Full kick comes short, and it's won by Giardina. Giardina into the box. Long touch, and she slides it home. Alex Giardina's second of the game, and it makes it 3-0 Stonehill. The Skyhawks are all over St. Anselm. Brown's goal kick knocked down by Cotter. Comes to Farina. Farina spins inside. Her shot punched over the bar by Brown. Pitts rolls the free kick out wide to Farina. Now Farina through the middle, and Caitlin Brown dives to the ground. And out to Paquette. Gets cross, headed back the other way by McNeil, trying to feed in Henry. Now Garrity rolls this one for Henry, who's onside. Henry with a chance. She fires and scores. Skyhawks make it four on the counter. Comes out to midfield. It's sent down by Morrison into the path of Farina. This could be something here. Farina in. Shot stopped by Brown. What a save. O'Neill holding. She'll play it out to the near side as time expires. This one is a thorough victory for the Skyhawks. Their fourth shutout of the season, and it comes by a score of four to nothing. Today's one was actually huge. Um, coming off of two ties in a row, we definitely needed this. Um, I think the key thing was just playing together as a team. Um, we worked together through the defense, mids, up to the forwards. Um, yeah, like I had two goals, but it was like my team that helped me get those two goals because we were working together and just always had each other's backs. Um, communication was huge today, on and off the ball. Um, there's always options, always someone open. And um, just this style of play that we that we had today is going to be crucial going into our last game and uh, postseason. So. I think we needed a spark, honestly. Um, I think the goal um, in the first half, my first goal, really um, just kind of like lit something in us to um, keep pushing forward, and um, we kind of figured out their defense. I mean, we, we broke them down, and um, we passed around them, and we were getting open. We were um, going through the middle of the field, getting out wide, getting crosses in, and um, that's key to like breaking down any defense. You have to like, you have to read the defense. Like um, that's why we watch film. That's why we study so we can come out right away and like know exactly what we have to do to execute. But um, once we figured that out, we were we were we were great, and we uh, scored four goals on them. So. It's huge. Um, it's our fourth of the season, and our other three were closer to the beginning of the season. So I think going into any ten, it's getting that shutout really kind of built our confidence, and you know we have a great back four and great defense. So we really needed that to go into any tens. And you know I think it helps that the majority of our defense is the same as last year. You know Peyton and Bella coming in as freshmen, but also having Bella Cruncho and Tess and Emily. Like we've all been through it before, so I think between all of us, we have a nice balance of new energy and all of us who are nice and old now so it definitely helps and you know I'm trying to communicate as much as I can out of the back and they're all communicating so between all of us I think we definitely we've learned each other's styles really well and that helps so we definitely have done a good job with communicating so far this season. Clean sheets win games and I think that if we can continue to produce uh, on the attacking side of the ball and again keep it clean on the defensive side of the ball then we're going to continue to have some success out there. It's just playing our game regardless of who we match up against you know who we're, who we're facing off uh, across from we just need to play our style just you know, possessing the ball moving it through the thirds using our pace and, and when we get you know a little nervous I think we kick it too much and, and you know that obviously limits our possession but once we kind of hung on to the ball we did a lot better of just breaking down uh, their defense and getting the ball. 
It's really special. I think you know a lot of times when a team relies on one person to do all the scoring, it's you know it's just one dimensional. And I think for us, we have players up top, players through the midfield. We've obviously had some defenders you know chipping in with assists and goals this year. So it's just nice to uh, share that.